Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to the Daytona International Speedway for the Daytona 100. This is going to be race number one, the opening race for season number four in the More Freedom Series. And I have been looking forward to this race since the last race ended for the More Freedom Series last season. Uh, as you can see, the cars are already on the track. They're getting some practice in here. We've got a lot to go through, so let's start off by going through the drivers for this season. That's what I want to go through, the drivers for this season. We have 32, 32 drivers in the field this year, uh, attrition from a few people from last season, but we got a couple new people, so let's go through them by teams. First team up is going to be Aces to Zed Motorsports, and their drivers this season will be the 11 of T.C. Roberts, the 13 of King of the Aces, the 23 of Fuller Than You, the 95 of Zed Brenna, and the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Up next, we've got Amish Buggy Racing, and they are moving from Pontiac to Dodge this year, and they have merged with Showstoppers Racing and added another driver, so let's go through those. Uh, first up, we got the 34 of Super Snake. Next will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, the triple six of Pistol Pete, the seven, the triple seven of Seabass, and the double zero of Mudbone. So that's Amish Buggy Racing for this season. Up next, we got Douche Motorsports, who moves to six drivers for this season. First driver up for them will be the eight of Moon Buddy. Second will be a newcomer to the series, the number 203 of Signs. Next, we have the 72 of Duchess, another newcomer, the 211 of Hogg. Uh, next, the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and rounding out Douche Motorsports will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Drop Bear Racing Team consists of the 300 of Resemble and the 799 of Mike Check this season. Uh, we still have the number 20 of Adam B5000 racing for Elliott Motorsports. For G3 Motorsports this season, the champion of a season three in the more freedom series we've got some changes here as uh mgh no longer with g3 motorsports not in the series this year and adding the 356 of ice cream some days so g3 motorsports will be the three of geek girl games and the 356 of ice cream some days so again mgh not with g3 motorsports this year Next up, we got Kager Racing, which is the old KFB Racing. Only two drivers for the Kager Racing this season. Number 40 of Veteran Chaos and the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Losing the 619 of Big Slick, Balls Deep, Jamal Jackson, and uh, the 38 of Baseman. Up next, we've got MBR. Again, MBR still with six drivers this season. Starting off with the 25 of JTM. The 29 of Wishbone Attack, the 49 of Jetman, the 51 of AJM, and the eight, sorry, the 88 of NM, and the 96 of Nico. Next, we've got RP Racing with the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. And the last team, newcomer to the series, last team will be Score Racing, and that is I am Scorer in the number 10. So that are your drivers this season for the More Freedom Series. And I have been looking, again, I've been looking forward to this for a while. The, the crowd has been looking forward to this. Couple different things. We will be racing back to the caution this season. Uh, also, all lap cars will go to the back of the field. And we will have double file restarts for all drivers this season so we're going to see how that goes here in the more freedom series we're going to see if it is a mess um looking over upcoming races we'll go through just a couple here we got daytona then charlotte then martinsville then atlanta rockingham darlington new hampshire watkins glen, glen coca-cola coca coke chicago land and then heading into and then just continuing on with 36 races here in the season we're going to end up at talladega in november and it's going to be a long season lots of points up for grabs we're going to see if the 13 of king of the aces can pull out a win here today as he won earlier earlier this week in the irock series but i as you can tell i'm super excited the crowd's excited they're all piled in i think it's about time so let's go racing 
Let's go down for the most famous words in auto racing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the More Freedom Series. Drivers, start your engines. Let's go through the starting lineup today for this Daytona 100. Starting on the pole will be the 799 of Mike Check, and on his outside, the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Starting third will be the number three of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the 211 of Hog. Starting fifth will be the 300 of Resemble, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting seventh will be the 33 of Harvey Jones, and on his outside, the number 10 of I Am Scorer. Starting ninth will be the 88 of NM, and rounding out the top 10 will be the 51 of AJM. So that's the starting lineup today, or the top starting top 10 today for this Daytona 100 race number one in the More Freedom Series season four. And with that new Thirsty Camel Bottle Shops livery on the 799 car, it is just looking fantastic right now. So we're gonna see how he does, how G3 does as she's starting in the third position here today. And she is looking to back-to-back -back championships is what she's looking for. I know she is excited. Uh, you never know. It's a long season, 36 races, and uh, the 96 is starting in the top 10. The 329 of Heck of Duber, you know, led most of the season last year, so he is starting way back in 29th. But this is a day, this is Daytona, this is a plate track, anything can happen. Could be a wreck on lap one. Let's hope there's not, knock on wood. And uh, so we're going to see what Mike Check does as he brings us down to take this green flag. Following behind that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car with the wishbone attack on his outside and that new livery for MBR. Waiting for the flag. It is out and we are underway here for the Daytona 100. Starting off more Freedom Series Season 4. Mike Check getting an early lead right here through turn one and two. and uh, But G3 has got that draft as he tries to slide down in front of her. He's got that, she's got that draft from the 300 of Resimple, who had a fairly decent year last year as he did not crash anybody out. So that was awesome. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna see what he does this year as he is pushing G3 out to the lead right now. And that number three car for G3 Motorsports. Behind him is going to be the 33 of Harvey Jones and that 88 of NM as NM slides up in front of the 799 of Mike Check. Your leader on lap number one here in season four will be the number three of Geek Girl Games as the 80 or the 33 of Harvey Jones closing in on her back door right now for RP Racing in that Reynolds Wrap Dodge. But here comes Rookie on the field, the 211 of Hog for Douche Motorsports. He is trying to get up there to the front. He's trying to lead a lap. As always, the five bonus points for leading a lap, they are very important as we go through this season. As, you know, minor, minor amount of points beside the championship last season. So it can be, if you lead a lap here and there, you lead a lap for every race. Those are, that's a lot of points as your leader right on the track right now is going to be that 33 of Harvey Jones. The 211 of Hogg sl sliding into the middle as the 25 of JTM. Down to the bottom. Ooh, good look at that beautiful engine black Dodge Challenger pace car. As the 25 now down to the bottom, followed right behind him is going to be the 777 of Seabass and the Twix sponsored car for Amish Buggy Racing and another newcomer on the field behind him, that 203 of Signs as he is working down to the bottom of the track in front of the 11 of T.C. Roberts. So JTM down to the bottom of the track. He is looking to lead a lap here as well. So the 777 of Seabass, you can see Amish Buggy Racing has definitely switched over to Dodge. They dropped the Pontiac for this season and that 777 of Seabass looking very good. Like not just on the track right now, but the livery itself is looking good. 
as your leader, I believe, is still going to be the 33. Well, actually, JTM led that last lap. Actually, JTM has led all the laps. I thought Harvey was out there, but it's showing JTM as having led a lap there, led, led the last two laps. As the 33 or the 203 of signs, trying to think about working down to the bottom underneath the 25 of JTM. Off of turn four. Staying down to the low side is that 25. You can see him getting off the gas in that draft as the lead car probably hitting about 200 miles an hour. Uh, probably 195 to 200 for the lead car, but those cars behind him are have to stack up, let off the gas, or, you know, they're going to crash. So JTM has led three of the first five laps with uh, G3 lead in the first lap. And I'm going to... That was the first four laps, three of the first four. But that 11 of TC Roberts pushing in underneath him as he slides down in front of him, very, very close right there for the lead. This pack is separated by about one second right now, first to 30 second right now, as that battle is just raging away between the 25 and the 33, as Harvey is going to lead a lap. Finally, for that 33 as JTM slides into the middle of the line in front of signs, but that allows the 11 of TC Roberts to get underneath him, followed closely behind by his teammate, the 23 of Fuller than you, and that black car, the 40 of Veteran Chaos, new livery for Kager Racing, and the 40 of Veteran Chaos instead of the US Army, he is rocking out the Jack Daniels as it's almost four wide with Hog right now. as Harvey is way out to the lead in front of this entire field. So we're going to go about 10 to 12 laps, 10 to 14 laps on fuel here today and the Daytona 100 before you start seeing pit stops happening on the track. And, you know, as always, fingers crossed, knock on wood, cross everything. That's your favorite driver, which, speaking of, let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, favorite driver will be on the left. Top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver is going across the top. There we go. I got it out there now. As almost solidly into second place is that 23 of Fuller than you. But here comes the 329 of Heck of a Duber again, starting 29th on the day. He has now worked his way into the bottom line behind the number 40 of Veteran Chaos. I'm trying to work underneath the 25 of JTM is that 40 of Veteran Chaos. Being helped along by the 329 and the 544, Frederick Winklevom, also newcomer there, the triple six of Pistol Pete. He's going to push that 544 underneath the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Duber sandwiched now in the middle three wide as Frederick working down to the inside of him. Here comes the 666, the 420, and a host of other cars lined up behind him. You see his teammate there, that double zero of Mudbone, as the 25 of JTM now down to the inside of the 23 of Fuller than you. He has set his sights on that 33 of Harvey Jones. Got a great run through three and four. He is almost to the back bumper of that 33 of Harvey Jones. So Harvey is just absolutely holding his own out here right now at the front of this field as the 25 now slides in behind into second position. Two Aces to Zed Motorsports teammates right here. The 11 of TC Roberts, 23 of Fuller than you. Great run by that 11 of TC Roberts. He pushes that bird's eye Toyota for Aces to Zed out to the, about the second position right now. Followed right behind him is the 544, but Pistol Pete is now worked underneath him to make that three wide right there. So we see Frederick in the middle with the triple six on the bottom as the, the triple six trying to work his way up to the front of this pack. He's got a couple a teammate a couple rows back in that double zero of Mudbone as Harvey is just right in the middle. With, at, with basically whichever line is giving him the best go right here, he is working in it and he is staying out in front of this pack as the triple six is trying to slide in behind the 33 of Harvey Jones. You see that number, another one of those Amish buggy racing teammates, the 34 of Super Snake right there as the triple six slides high, looking for that draft from the 33 of Harvey Jones, but that 420 
of Queen of Hearts. I think she's going to have a good draft underneath, draft underneath that triple six with help from his teammate, the 34 of Super Snake and the double zero of Mudbone as they head towards the trioval right now. Looks like the 660 of Garrett Miller ducking off. He is into the pits. So we here on lap number 10 are starting to see cautions, or not cautions, hopefully not cautions. Uh, pit stops come out. As the 33 of Harvey Jones in that Reynolds wrap alien wear dodge for RP Racing is holding his own out here at the front of the pack, but not to be outdone right now. It's 34 Super Snake. Looks like he's having a run at him. He was having a run at him with the help from his teammate, the double zero of Mudbone, as they head into turn three and four. Mudbone down to the bottom right now as he has a fantastic run on all of those drivers as we see multiple folks jumping into the pits right here. So a gaggle of cars on to pit road right there as a double zero of Mudbone will be your leader. Followed right behind him is at 33 of Harvey Jones. Harvey is, I mean, he is all, he's desperate to get back to the front of the field as always. And he won last year, I believe at Charlotte is what I recall. And he is trying to get the first win of the season here in season four. Looks like the 420 didn't pit the 666 and the 11, the 211, and, and several other cars didn't pit. So here comes the 88 of NM down to the inside of the 211 of Hog. And we're going to see if they drop off the banking here. As the 33 and the double zero drafting around. They're off the gas. They are into the pits. Looks like the rest of the field, except for the 666, is pitting. Actually, we've got the 666, the 3, and the 211 staying out right now. So it looks like they're going to try to make it three, 13 laps on their fuel stint here. So it looks like, checking the standings, we have the 96 of Nico is out of this race. Um, let's go see if we can check in on that replay and see what happened to the 96. So not a caution, but the 96 is going to be out as a result of this incident getting into pit road. Just a gaggle of cars there, rear ends the back end of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and looks like it's going to do a lot of damage to the front of his car, so he's going to be out for the day. So finally, the 211, the 3, and the 666 all into the pits, all out of the pits. There's the 799 of Mike Check, who you saw was also involved in that incident on pit road. So tough break for the 799, the pole sitter, as he might be done for the day. Not done as in on the track, but done because his car is all messed up. So tough break for all of those drivers. And currently being shown a lap down is the 71 and the 799, but Lucky, lucky, good news for them is that, that we do have the lucky dog rule here in the season, and they will be able to get their lap back provided if we have a caution. So we're watching the 25 at JTM, who looks like he probably has taken over the lead as he fights it out with the 20 of Adam B5000, the 544, the double zero, and a host of other cars. Looks like the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, new driver to the G3 stables, the G3 Motorsports stables. Not a new driver on the in the series, just to G3 Motorsports. As she's working behind the 544 of Frederick Winkelbaum, you can see that the 799 of Mike Check does have damage on his vehicle, so he is slow as he does have front end damage right there. So my, poor Mike Check is now basically a rolling roadblock through the field as these cars try to work to get around him. But your leader on the track is, I believe, the 544 of Frederick Winklevom right now. Fall right behind him is going to be that 20 of Adam B5000. So last season, rookie uh, that 544 of Frederick Winklevom just had a rough, rough go last year. I believe he finished, I think, last in the points or very, very close to being last in the points. But he is up at the front right now, as you saw his other teammate, the 33 of Harvey Jones right there. Harvey is top 10 on the track as of right now. We're going to see where he finishes his race out, but 
Mike check looks like he's able to keep up with this pack just a little bit, even though he's got that damage on the front end of his car. That's the 20 of Adam B5000 working down to the inside of the 544. Followed right behind him is going to be the 25 of JTM as the double zero of Mudbone gets a great run into the turn. And he's three wide underneath that 25 of JTM. His teammate, the 34 of Super Snake, looks like he's going to follow right behind him. He doesn't quite follow behind him, so it looks like that double zero might have to tuck it in behind that 25 at JTM as your leader on the track right now is the 544 Frederick Winklebaum. So RP Racing looking really good so far this season with the 33 and the 544, I'm sure. I mean, I don't know that that's gonna change, but we'll see what happens. So again, tough breaks right now for Mike Chick and Nico. That's going to put them way down in the field for the season. And we're going to see, you know, just to start off, that's going to put them down. And we'll have to see how that, how they react to that through the rest of the season. Um, as the 356 of Ice Cream some days and that public Chevy for G3 Motorsports pushes that car out to the front of the field. She had a great, she was, she's a great plate track driver. Uh, did very well in the, in the plate tracks last season for Aces to Zed. And it looks like she's keeping that up here this season for G3 Motorsports. as the 20 of Adam B5000 right behind her. Adam looking for another win to add to his career stats here in the More Freedom Series. I know he has like two or three. I think he has two wins overall in his career. And he is definitely looking for another one as the 25 of JTM. Staying with this pack as we work lap number 19. Almost to halfway. We're going to see who leads at halfway. Get those five extra bonus points for leading at halfway today. As always throughout the season, as it looks like if that... Well, I'll make sure with the, with the replay, but... So far, it looked like that was Frederick was the leader at halfway, but it could also be this lap too. So, but I'll make sure with the replay, make sure we get those five bonus points handed out to the correct driver as the 20 of Adam B5000 is pushing that Chevy, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days down the back stretch. So great run, side-by-side -side action right here as a double zero of Mudbone works down to the bottom to help that low line. We'll watch them cross the stripe in just this one, and we'll check out pack number two behind these folks, which are about three and a half seconds back. You can see a few cars running in line back there. As the 25 of JTM down to the inside of that 20 of Adam B5000, as Ice Cream does get a lap lead there. So let's check back here on the second pack. As it looks like they're getting pretty racy right now, we have the 13, the King of the Aces, the 329, and the 660 all running right here on the track with each other. About half a second up on the third pack, which is getting really dicey and racy back here. See a couple NBR cars and a couple Douche Motorsports cars right there fighting it out. That 211 of Hog leading this pack right now with the 72 of Duchess for Douche Motorsports. She's falling in behind him as a scooter there in the 10 the Coors Lights Chevy for score racing falling in there too as we see the 49 of Jetman for MBR there as well so Mike check is falling back to there and it looks like they're about to catch that 71 of Kung Fu Beer, who is actually still on the lead lap right now or yeah he is on the lead lap he's in danger of going a lap down which I think he will as the 544 and the 33 have hooked up to the bottom of the track and they're gonna get around that 71 of Kung Fu Beer. As the 544 just powers it underneath him and off the track goes the 544 as pit stops happening again here at Daytona.
So we see several other drivers jumping into the pits. Your leader is the 33 of Harvey Jones. Right behind him is that 20 of Adam B5000, the 34 of Super Snake. His teammate, the double zero of Mudbone there, as well as the 71 and the 356. So the damage on the back of the 71 isn't, it is causing him to be slow, but almost not slow enough. You know what I mean? Like he's not, he just needed some draft help, but we'll see what happens as they peel off here. It looks like the 20's coming in. So a few drivers in. 33 of Harvey Jones staying out as well as that double zero of Mudbone. So Harvey probably, I think we got one more stop that we're going to have to do here today as there's 17 laps to go. And so we're going to get one more stop here before the end of this race as currently your leader is that 33 of Harvey Jones but sneak it up on his back door is the double zero of Mudbone there for Amish Buggy Racing. Mudbone looking pretty strong through the turn as he dips it down. We're going to see if they pull in. It looks like Mudbone is into the pits. 33 of Harvey Jones staying out another lap. Out here on an island all by himself is that 33 of Harvey Jones. He's going to get caught up to... The back of the pack there is just coming out of the pits. So he's technically putting all these cars a lap down right now. So if knock on wood, the disaster strikes, um, all those cars would be a lap down as we would go to caution, the caution flag. So Harvey got a fantastic car underneath him here today. He is doing everything he can to win this race. As we can see, the 23 of Fuller than you and the 356 of Ice Cream some days right there. He catches up to the back of their bumpers and he peels off. And this should most likely be the last pit stop of the day for the 33 of Harvey Jones as he is working towards his pit stall. We'll watch him, see what he does. See if he goes four tires, two tires, fuel only. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the RP Racing has for a pit strategy here today for the 33 of Harvey Jones on this final stop. He is into his pits. Looks like it is a fuel only stop for the 33 of Harvey Jones, shoving as much fuel as they can into that car, trying to get him out in good time. And he is away. So we're going to see if that was good enough to let him lead to the end of this race, maybe win it. Not quite sure yet. Race isn't over. Anything can happen in the next few laps as we only have 14 to go here at Daytona for this Daytona 100 in the More Freedom Series. Watching Harvey work around the bottom of this track, slowly coming up to speed. Here comes the double zero of Mudbone. He's going to catch him down the back stretch, but does he have enough time to catch him and pass him? So Mudbone at full speed as the 33 gets the hamster wheel wound up underneath, underneath the hood and that 33 Reynolds Rap Dodge for RP Racing as the double zero of Mudbone working to his outside. And it looks like the 13, a King of the Aces, had a fantastic pit stop as he is going to work himself into the second position now. Your leader on the track should be the double zero of Mudbone, but with help from. Actually, G3 was leading just then. So your leader on the track, I think, is going to be the 13 of King of the Aces as G3 is finally into her pit stall. So we're going to keep an eye on this. I think G3 is actually still your leader right there. So she is taking left side tires. So left side tires going on that number three of Geek Girl Games. Fuel going in. And she is away. Here comes the 20 of Adam B5000. She's not going to beat him out of the pits. So she's going to fall down in the order. But she led right there. As with 12 laps to go. So we have 12 laps remaining. Which means we might see some last second pit stops by several of these drivers. G3 can go all the way to the end. But the question is, as we had stopped 
14 to 17 laps prior to that, are we gonna see some people coming in, hitting the pits for fuel only? We're gonna see if the strategy works out for Harvey and all these other drivers, so uh, the question is, is how much fuel did they put into that 13 at King of the Aces to get him up to the front like they did? Did they get the fu full fuel into that car? Because he was quite a ways back. He was about four seconds off, I, off the lead when he came in and to be able to make up that four seconds in the pits is quite a feat. So I wonder if they are betting on everybody else having to stop as well. Maybe he just is getting that good of a gas mileage and they brought him in early. So I don't know. We're keeping an eye on that 13 of King of the Aces, but the 33 of Harvey Jones and the 544 of Frederick Winklevom for RP Racing. Those Dodges here at Daytona are looking pretty strong right now. As it's three wide right now between the 544, the 34, and the double zero of Mudbone. Harvey wisely falls in behind the 34 of Super Snake right there, his teammate on the outside of him, the double zero of Mudbone. Again, switch to Dodge for Amish Buggy Racing this season. As we head down the backstretch, your leader still currently is the number 20 of Adam B5000 for Elliott Motorsports. Working through three and four as Harvey, again, down to the, his inside. Harvey is just, I've been very impressed with RP Racing so far in this race as, again, both their drivers up here at the front of the field. But those Dodges are looking pretty strong as there are five right here in this pack all together as the 544 Frederick Winklevom hung back just a little bit. He's going to get a great draft down the back stretch. Could almost have allowed him to get down to the inside of that 25 at JTM, but I think Frederick's just playing it slow right now. We've got about nine laps to go. Speaking of laps, your fastest lap on the day as of right now is going to be by the number 10 of Scooter at 45.189 miles per or seconds or 196.517 miles per hour. So Scooter with your fastest lap on the day. He currently runs 14th on the track. He's about five and a half seconds back of this lead pack as the 34 of Super Snake now down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones. The 25 of JTM is going to keep it low. That 13 of King of the Aces slips down into the middle between JTM and the 544. So JTM to the bottom of the track, Super Snake up high. We're going to see if that MBR Dodge for with JTM behind the wheel can uh, get this done here today at Daytona with eight laps to go. As the 13, the King of the Aces is just doing everything he can. Again, remember Monday, King of the Aces won the IROC series race here in the brand new Dodge Vipers. So he is trying to win the more freedom series race here today in his Toyota. So it, he's trying for back to back wins here, which I don't know that has actually happened where the winner on Monday has won on Friday. So King of the Aces trying to do it for the first time here this season. Standing in the way right now is that 25 with JTM and a host of other vehicles as so well matched around this track, the high and the low line, that it is kind of difficult for him to pass as of right now. We're going to see if that double zero of Mudbone stays in the high line or if he's going to slip it down low behind the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So Frederick is... Again, biding his time as the double zero does slide down low. He's thinking about making it three wide with the 544. So this is the battle for first through seventh right now on the track. We'll jump back here to the back, the secondary pack, which you see another couple Amish buggy racing vehicles right here. The triple seven of Seabass and the triple six of Pistol Pete right there. Oh, and 
as Score gets loose. Score gets loose. I don't know if he had some help right there. Score is around. Looks like the 23 of Fuller than you is, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Not sure exactly what happened right there, but the 25 of JTM is in for gas and go. With the 13, the 544 also gas and go. So with five laps to go here at Daytona, um, going to be an interesting finish to this race as we're going to check out what happened with the number 10 in just a moment as we catch up to him. So let's go ahead and check out the replay of what happened to the number 10, a scooter. This caution is going to be brought out between by contact between the 23 of Fuller than you and the 10 of Scooter. Uh, Fuller is going to come across the nose of the 10 car and trying to get into the pits and just bad, bad job right here by the 23 of Fuller than you. Should have his spotter should have told him that the 10 was here, but let's see what happens. As you can see, comes down, gets into the 10 as he's trying to get into the pits and uh, spins them both. Hopefully, not too much damage. You can see a little bit of contact on the left left front of the 23 of fuller than you but we'll see what ha happens we're going to see if we're going to go back green before the end of this race also as a note right here heartbreak for the 07 of douche baggins as we watch this replay we're going to see his engine let go here through three and four so db is out of the race with a blown engine so tough break for douche motorsports and the 07 of douche baggins uh, fantastic livery on that 07 and so he is done for today and uh, just unfortunate unfortunate just a couple laps to go so as of right now it's looking like this your leader on the track is still that 33 of Harvey Jones he did take tire fuel only so I think he's going to try to gamble and see if we can make it all the way to the end of this race um, again, out of the race is the 07 at, with a blown piston. And the 96 of Nico early on after getting into it on uh, getting into pit road. So uh, your leader right now is the 33 of Harvey Jones. Second is the 666 of Pistol Pete. Third will be the 777 of Seabass. Fourth will be the 211 of Hog. Fifth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Eight, sixth will be the 88 of NM. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 13 of King of the Aces. So looking through all of this stuff, um, the top eight have not yet pitted. So they're either trying to make it to the end or they're, they're hoping that we don't go back green or they are hoping that they can make it all the way to the end on fuel. So I know it's going to be close for all of these drivers. And I want to say, you know, like, when you look at this right now, you've got Pistol Pete, Seabass, Garrett Miller right now for Amish Buggy Racing up here at the front of the field. So Amish Buggy Racing, who has had a rough go the last couple seasons, is doing excellent today as they added three new drivers again that was a excuse me a merger of teams between amish buggy and showstoppers and adding a new driver just a, a new driver to the series and then just um switching to dodge so we're gonna see what the flagman shows us here looks like we still got the yellow flag out as of right now So, you can see the 29, a wishbone. We are going back green next lap. So, we're going to have a one-lap shootout here in the More Freedom Series. As the 33 of Harvey Jones is your leader. Second's going to be the 666 of Pistol Pete. And so, just a note here. This is going to be a double file restart. And I I'm, going to, I'm assuming that we're going back green because we didn't get the white flag. 
So if we go back green, it's a one lap shootout here at the end of this race. So we're going to see what they do. Um, still listening to hear what race control says. And I think it is a one, going to be a one lap shootout here. So anybody at this point could win this race. As like I said, the top seven have not pitted yet. I don't know if this is going to be just white flag and white flag under caution. Not quite sure yet. Nope, we're going back green, folks. One lap shootout here to decide the Daytona 100 champion. We got Amish Buggy Racing on the outside. We've got RP Racing on the inside leading us down to take this green flag today. Is going to be the number 33 of Harvey Jones. We could see a first-time winner here in the in the 666, the two and the 211, both rookies on the season. Can the newly revamped Amish Buggy Racing pull out in a miraculous win as that beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car ducks off the track? We're going to get the white and the green flag. We're going to get one lap to go, and we are underway, and we have people out of gas. So that pitch strategy didn't work as the 40 is around. It's going to be a race back to the caution flag, folks. As the 33 is out of gas. The 13 is sitting in the catbird seat. Here comes the double zero of Mudbone. The 211 of Hog sitting in the catbird seat. We've got mass hysteria happening on this track right now as the 211's out of gas. The Hog, Hog is not out of gas. He's running it down through the turn. Here comes the double zero of Mudbone in that 13 of King of the Aces. Can Hog make it to the finish? First race of his career. First race of the career for the 211 of Hog. Here comes that double zero. Oh my God, the, the 211 loses it at the line. The double zero of Mudbone comes out of nowhere, gets the draft, beats the 211 to the line, and it is going to be a win by the double zero of Mudbone. You could not script that any better, folks. Because today is Mudbone's birthday. So happy birthday to the double zero of Mudbone who pulls out the unthinkable win at the end of this race. As it looks like the 211 is going to finish second. I'm not sure if he ran out of gas. What happened? But he is just I, unbelievable end to the Daytona 100 as that double zero of Mudbone is your winner today. Let's check in and let's go. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Your winner is the double zero of Mudbone. Second place will be the 211 of Hog. Third will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fourth will be the three of Geek Girl Games. Fifth will be the 420 of Queen of Hearts. Sixth will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Seventh will be the 300 of Resemble. Eighth will be the 10 of Scooter. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 72 of Duchess. So it looks like that double zero of Mudbone, not only did he win this race, but on the cooldown victory lap, ran out of gas. So Mudbone put in enough, his team, Amish Buggy Racing, put in enough fuel to get him to the end and to win this race. So amazing, amazing job by Amish Buggy Racing. Amazing job by the double zero of Mudbone. Listen, this is just race number one of 36. So if it, 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 only, gets, like it only gets better, and next week we go to Charlotte for the Charlotte 80. So... Yeah, and uh, I guess we'll check in on your points.
Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings again as, well, I don't know. The double zero was the only one that ended up finishing in the top 10. So you're seeing your team and chassis standings here as well. Again, you couldn't script it any better. Your winner today is the double zero of Mudbone on his birthday. And uh, congratulations to him on winning. Happy birthday to him. And until next week at Charlotte, take care.